Uh, He's going to make me feel bad. Here's the deal. The Kyla, say in your book, Kyla's a 10. There are a million... Say in your book? There, Where is she not a 10? She is a 10. Okay, she's a 10, right? <laughs> there are a million eights walking around who aren't famous and don't have the attitude. Ah, there right. you go. There you go. So a you, million eights. You go down two notches. I'd rather bang a million eights than have a 10 who's going to make me feel bad. One <laughs> 10 or a million eights. <laughs> You guys are crazy. Anyway, speaking of eights and fours and twos, I got a one here. Gilbert Godfrey. <laughs> Gilbert Godfrey's a one. Does he even get a one? Uh, no. I'm being nice because he's my guest. What is he, Robert? What is Gilbert? He is not on the scale. <laughs> he's a uh, two at best. Gary or Gilbert? Because he has fame. <laughs> Gilbert, are you a one? We're talking about Kylie. About and, a two. Kylie and Carmen are tens. Gilbert, you're a one. <laughs> What'd you do? You shave your head? Are you oh, yeah. bald? Well, no, it's my, no. my black thing. He, you know, he shaves he his head. He looks like Puff Daddy. I'm going to say something to you. <laughs> yes. You're a guy who needs some hair. <laughs> <laughs> you need hair on your head. Are you kidding me? What are you doing? You've got too much face now. Yeah. And with that physique. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I work out. <laughs> He's never worked out a day in his life. He can't even stand up straight at this point. I know. It's very <laughs> embarrassing. Gilbert, what's going on with you? Uh, well, I did Son of the Beach. Yeah. yeah. Let me say something. Is Gilbert in Son of the yeah. Beach? Yeah. Gilbert is in Son of the Beach. There's an episode coming up. And again, I apologize. I don't know when your episode's coming up. Yeah. I've seen the dailies. You, I, I assume you haven't. No. I'm the executive producer, they so I see everything. Gilbert no. I am telling you whether you are a Gilbert fan or not. This is Gilbert at his greatest. They finally found what Gilbert should be doing. <laughs> I'm telling a you, Jew. he plays a he plays a Jewish lifeguard, oh a Hasidic Jewish wait lifeguard, minute, and it's the funniest. Tell me something. Hold it. That, you by the way, tell me first. Yeah. Is Gilbert in a bathing suit? Yes. Oh. Yes. yes. <laughs> he's a Hasidic guy in a bathing suit. He's wearing the worst beard and mustache, oh, and he's so funny. funny. Did they get you to sing at all during the... No. Oh, you should have ad lib. Yeah. Why didn't you ad lib? I don't know. They, uh, I was, I was oh, following this script. I got to tell you, something. I mean, I've read all the Son of the Beach scripts, and the guy, Jim, Dave, and uh, Tim will write this thing of geniuses, but I got to say something. Yeah, the one you're in, Chip Segoy, is it where, the, where the whole gang goes to Israel? Yeah. And Chip falls in love with your daughter? And his daughter's name is... <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> It's one of the funniest scripts I ever read. I swear. Don't you? I, I mean, and, and and also, I heard they originally they were trying to get Martin Landau you to do mean a you part. You first choice. Yeah. You and, weren't first choice. Well, <laughs> and, son of the and, and Martin Landau <laughs> said, "I like the show, but I do work for uh, you know Jewish organization. Oh. I, can't, oh. I do work for Simon Wiesenthal. Oh, that's funny. And this is such an anti-Semitic <laughs> 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 we know how to call Gilbert a self-hating Jew. Gilbert does nothing good for anyone. Gilbert comes out in a pair of swim trunks. Yeah. And he's, he's, See, I'm there when you tell me Gilbert's in the uh, swim uh, yeah. Gilbert's legs, I, I, don't even, I don't think they're human. Yeah. <laughs> you remember the last time we saw Gilbert's legs, he was in the hospital. Gilbert, yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, Gil, yeah, well, look, they have many sores on yeah. that. <laughs> he's gotten rid of the sores. But Gilbert... Really, I mean, his delivery and this character he plays is he's funny. He's in this character. He's terrific. <laughs> I mean, you're what funny you as hell. An Emmy? Can I say something? Yeah. Now, a set of the beach is up for some comedy award. I don't know about an Emmy, but but if they uh, put this in the Emmys, Gilbert would win an Emmy. Is that right? I'm not kidding. That's how funny it is. I I'm got my fingers crossed for you, I, Gilbert. You know, I see you. Like I see like Eddie Murphy puts you in movies and stuff. Oh, yeah. They never use you right. They, this but show. You are always the Jew. Yeah. <laughs> He's always a Jew, but they're not the right kind of Jew. It's not Jewish enough. I gotta, I, I'm, gonna, I'm calling the guy today. If we have another season, which I assume we will, because he's got to come back. He's got to come back. You got to come back as you know the Jewish lifeguard. Yeah. That's funny as hell. And I, I also like on that show is where they. There was one part they were doing a, like a close up of yeah. people. They were wearing a swimsuit, but they're doing a close up. So it was cold on the beach. So everyone. The guy and the three girls put their pants on. They right. put sweats pants on. In between takes. Yeah. yeah. And then one girl even wraps like a robe around her waist. And, and then the, the, they start filming. The director says to the assistant director something. He whispers. And the assistant director goes over to the blonde. And he goes, oh, you know, we can see a robe. 
all around your waist, and she takes her robe off, and he goes, and also the pants. <laughs> they they kind yeah. of like reflect. Yeah. And then then he goes over to the other two girls after they start filming, and he goes, oh, you know, I can see. Yeah. Your, yeah. You know, you can see just the top. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. They both so they're all now stripped down to their bikinis, and the guy goes, well, I guess I should take my pants off. They go, oh no, you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, that's how guys work. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, you, all I'll say is, when this episode is on, I will tell everyone to watch it because I believe this is your greatest role ever. Yeah. I am not kidding. This Do is my Spartacus. I'm not, I am, this is your Spartacus. Where? Where? This is no, your no, Gone with the Wind. calling Gilbert. Yes. After seeing yeah. him in this People role. will call Actually him for more call acting him. work. This yeah. is my gladiator. So you will yeah. get tons of acting work off of this. Because people will now realize who you are. <laughs> They've never been able to figure out what you are. A Jew. A Jew. You are Jewy Jew man. This is your uh, Jake of the Liar. <laughs> you are so Jewish. It's unbelievable. Well, look at you. It's like one of the writers was Irish, and he was offended by all the Jew references. I can tell, though, that you were having fun shooting it, because when I watched the dailies, I could see that. You got into the character. You had a good time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you liked it. Well, is Gilbert the kind of actor who, when he goes on the set, you can only refer to him as his character name? And no. Oh, yes. In fact, I'll, I'll give you a secret. What? From watching the dailies, Gilbert is very seriously prepared when he walks out. Uh -huh. He re he memori he never once missed a beat. He has a lot of lines. I yeah. mean, Gilbert carries this particular episode, uh -huh. and he doesn't miss a line. His each take. Now, I always look when I watch dailies to see if a guy can recreate what he just did. Yeah. And each take is fresh. Yeah, meaning, but he never does the same thing twice. No, I mean that it seems like it's the first time he's doing it. Oh, but he does recreate. He does. He is. He's got. Gilbert, it. are you a professional? It's fresher and more Jewish each time. <laughs> <It's so laughs> <good. laughs> <laughs> and it's uh, unbelievable, and this will probably set the Jews back a thousand years. <laughs> you have to see it. Just wait till they see. Wait, wait till the people complain. <laughs> wait till Simon Wiesenthal sees this. Oh, no. oh my God! But what fun! What fun! And you will now be established and finally be given the credit that you are due. My yes. Friend. I was shocked how prepared you were. I, uh, the guy, the star, was shocked. Yeah. Because uh, I've seen other people come in and guest. They usually don't take it very seriously. Yeah. I'll tell you the other guy who did as good as Gilbert. Who? But Gilbert, I mean, Gilbert. Theodore Patel. No, no, no. He, no. You know who he's going to say? <laughs> Hank the Angry Jewel. No. No, I won't. <laughs> Hank required some work. Was he in trunks? He's in one. He's in trunks. Oh. He, he uh, tries not to be a lifeguard on that episode. <laughs> Funny as hell. But uh, I'll tell you who else. Uh, I just watched a... A uh, rough cut of his show, uh, David Arquette. Oh, really? He took it seriously, too. He took it seriously, and I never got him before. And I'm telling you, this is the best work he's ever done. All right. He's brilliant. Well, there's a lot to look forward to this season. But Gilbert will, Gilbert will make you cry because you're laughing so hard. Oh. That's how funny he is in this. Not like you normally do. I mean, did they give you feedback there? Because it was funny. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a hell of a character. But does Gilbert care about feedback? No. I think he does. No, he doesn't. I think at this point in his career, he's maturing. No. Oh, yeah. He's, like, he's on the level of a four-year-old now. Gilbert could care less what the you, others think. You do care how people perceive you, though. I mean, I'm talking about on the set when you're acting. Oh, oh you yeah. Want, you want to do a good no, job. Yeah. I, I could see that. He wants to do his job. Were you serious on the set, though? I mean, would you? Were, were, I, I saw in the acting you were serious, but afterwards, did you go back to your trailer and study your lines, or did you mingle with the rest of the crew? A little mingling, a little back, you know, the usual wasting time. I can't imagine yeah. that you uh, were that prepared and had time to mingle. I think you yeah. were back there studying and thinking about what you were going to do. I swear to God, I did. Yeah, I'm like De Niro. You are. Yeah. yeah. True. Did you hang out, or were you right back to your trailer? Well, who's going to hang out with him? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Think about it. It's all hot checks. <laughs> that, that, that's why I was able to study so much. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, I remember you even had like a little bit of a romantic scene with the mayor. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, great. And then uh, all those great other scene. girls. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you... No were... romantic scenes with no, the other girls. No, of course not. <laughs> and I like, too, you know, when you look at girls like that, it's like, you know how feminist groups always complain like, oh, you know, in movies and magazines, they create women that don't exist in real life. Right. And you're there and you're going, well, no, there they are. They do yeah. exist. You just got to go to Hollywood and get on a show. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, listen, uh, you see that girls do exist. Yeah. Were you able to talk to those pretty girls like Jamie and... Uh, or did you uh, not even try? Oh, sure. They wanted to have sex with me, but I had to work on the script. <laughs> <laughs> it was so serious. I had to study. Hmm. 
No, I saw I saw Gilbert uh, like sometimes stop in the middle of the takes, walk back, and do something again if he didn't think it was right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, you should have seen what was going on. Yeah. <laughs> The dailies are really what I want to put out. I don't even want to put out the actual show. And Gilbert is good. I'm going to give Gilbert the dailies. What do you think of that? All right. You should show them around Hollywood. I wish we had tape of him on the set. Well, I predict after this airs, and I'm, I'm making a prediction right now. And you know there's a lot of Jews in Hollywood. I believe. <laughs> I no. believe, I believe, oh, now, I believe Gilbert will talking. be blackballed. Yeah, now you're talking crazy. <laughs> Jews in Hollywood. Uh, You'll probably be blackballed by all those Jews. I like when Brando said that Jews were running Hollywood and everyone got upset. <laughs> <laughs> you're not supposed to bring that up. That's the problem with Brando. Yeah, what are we going to do with the truth? Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, Gilbert, you feel good about being on Son of the Beach? Oh, yes. yes. No, I'm not going to say I go, I think, I think I'm offended by my own show. <laughs> <laughs> I really am. And there's Arab terrorists in this, and you're fighting oh, with yeah. Arabs. All on the beach. I saw that one scene where the where the bomb comes, uh, the rock comes through the window and almost hits you. Oh yeah. You were like Tevye from Fiddler yeah. on the Roof. <laughs> <laughs> you were so Jewish. And there's one part where we say something to the German guy, and he goes, "Is that your final solution?" Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my well, it's exciting, and in fact, I saw in one scene. You give the German guy a circumcision. Oh yeah, <laughs> you're brilliant in that, because uh, in order for the guy Chip, the German guy, to marry Gilbert's daughter in the show, he has to be Jewish. He has to become Jewish and get a circumcision. Oh. And, and he goes, "If my father knew I was a Jew, he'd kill me." <laughs> 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 and he means it. <laughs> but He's uh, out. I got to tell you, I watched the dailies and I realized I started writing a letter to the anti-defamation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hated it. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. Well, Gilbert, you're on a career roll after uh, your uh, filming of Center of the Beach because I see you'll be performing at Caroline's on Broadway. Yes. Usually they keep you out of that one. I, I know. <laughs> Usually it's the Caroline's all the way downtown. You're going to be on Caroline's on Broadway. There's hmm? only one Caroline. Oh, really? <laughs> Uh, Caroline's on Broadway this you had Thursday. Jump in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You got to ruin that. It sounded good for a month. No, Caroline's on Broadway this Thursday and Friday. So these are two big shows. Everyone's going to run down. Are you going to do one of your scenes from Son of the Beach? Oh, yes. yes. You will. I'll dress up in a beard and pay us. And... Now, uh, will you ever do, let's say, one of these black shows and appear in blackface like you did with the Jewish show? <laughs> so, uh, anyway, if you go to Caroline's... Now that he has larger audiences and people who are attracted to him by his appearances on Hollywood Squares, I'm sure nothing's gotten better in no. before. <laughs> now people must come to your appearances now who weren't fans before, right? Oh yeah, they and now, now they're definitely not fans. <laughs> because like I was talking to someone who was kind of—I'm not going to say out of it—but they were like they knew you from Hollywood Squares. Yeah. They never knew you before. Huh. And they said, gee, they went to Gilbert show, and they didn't get it. His eyes were shut, and he was <laughs> rambling into the microphone. It's the audience is what they said. And I said, I'm curious, do you know Gilbert from Hollywood Squares? He goes, yes. I go, he's not doing Hollywood Squares. He's not going to sit there and tell those horrible jokes he tells on Hollywood Squares. He's going to actually be funny. Yeah. So, uh... I think they expect me to be sitting in a box on stage. Yeah. Now, have they evicted Jackie out of his Hollywood Squares since... <laughs> Since he, he lost, lost, his, mind since he lost his mind and left this show, you know he uh, quit the show. Oh yeah, yeah, he quit the show. Is that good. big news? Is, is that big news out in Hollywood? <laughs> it's 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 the headline of Variety. I imagine they're going to want him uh, back. Jackie Nick's picks flicks. Yeah, yeah. they're probably going to want him back. I'm sure now that he's not on the Nick's show. My my favorite thing with Jackie on the Hollywood Squares yeah. was one time it was one they revved the audience up and right. the audience is ready to laugh at. Anything. So, yeah. Right. So someone says a joke, everyone's cheering and laughing. laughing. I say a joke, it's like explodes. Right. Then Jackie says a joke, and it's like like nothing, not right. even a call. Oh. And, <laughs> and then it happens again, yeah. and it's explosive. Everyone, <laughs> like people who are models are saying jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Soap opera actors. Right, right, right. And then Jackie, also nothing. And then it's like breaks for a commercial. Right. And Jackie turns to me after I, I practically got a standing ovation. Right. He turns to me and goes, this audience really sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, listen, he's on to some better things. <laughs> I'm an upward. Well, listen, I love him, so I'm, I'm happy for him. Get a lot of sleep now. <laughs> Anyway, uh, you are such a dynamic talent, Gilbert. Oh, yes. And I love how your stories always uh, include you killing and everything Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> He's practically got a standing ovation. 
Yes. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 People were applauding Gilbert. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Somewhere the truth is in there. <laughs> Uh, tomorrow. Thank, thank God that lie detector guy left. Do you want to do the news with us? Oh, oh all right. Oh, if you have to, yeah. I guess we'll stay. What is this, the Mike Douglas show? Yeah. He's going to sit in. Oh, Would yeah. Could you do a song? Yeah, you got to do a play across town, but could you just. Would you like to do a song for us? Would you like to do a Hebrew song as the rabbi from your character? At one point, I started doing like phony Jewish there talking, and the script girl comes over <laughs> and goes, "This isn't on here." Well, you could add a little, little. I said, you know, I I watched the things. I said, I don't think they had Gilbert sing. That's the one thing they got to bring him back. That's you got to sing. Yeah, <laughs> they got to reshoot some scenes and have you sing. I don't understand. You didn't do any of your Jewish prayers. Nothing. You sing so beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's the kind of singing that gets Orthodox Jewish girls wet. Yeah. <laughs> you know Jews are dumb. Yeah. No wonder they were killing Jews. <laughs> Listen to that. Do you ever sing some of your Jewish stuff on Hollywood Squares? Oh, oh yes, all the time. <laughs> they ever ask you to do Instead that? Instead of an answer. Right. Yeah, just start singing. Yeah. No, you're very, very, you play it a different way. Yes. Though, you're a very serious comedian yeah. out there. Right. Yeah, I'm yes. Paul Lynn. Yeah. Sometimes it must be a shock when people see you live after they've uh, learned to love you on Hollywood Squares. Oh, yeah. Square. And what, about, what about that gay guy on Hollywood Squares? Uh, does he come oh, on to you at all? Oh, is he gay? That's a fair. He never comes on to you? Uh, no, no, it's just like the biggest insult. Really? Yeah. I mean, you're, you're a good-looking yeah. guy. Yeah. I mean, what is that? <laughs> when you got a fat homosexual that won't come on. <laughs> it's pretty bad. You understand why women don't want yeah. it. Yeah. Maybe the... Gilbert ever been hit on by a guy? Have you really? Uh, oh, yeah, I, actually, when I was like a teenager, <laughs> you said yeah. family member, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a relative. Oh, no. no, but uh, the, the gay guy never sneaks into your square or anything like that. Oh no, no. no. no but no, but what, not it, really. what about this? What happened to you as a teenager? What was your incident? No, Everybody no. has one gay yeah. incident. Yeah, not not like an out and out incident. Right. It's just like. Uh... <laughs> So what happened? I once had a black guy come up to me in Central Park. Wait, wait, wait you were a teenager walking in Central yeah, Park? Yeah, Why do you walk? I, I yeah, can't I know. You walk. <laughs> and through the park. Yeah. <laughs> and, and he starts talking to me, and I'm just like kind of walking. I won't stop. And then he says, out and out, you want to suck? Right. Oh, really? Yeah. Hey, you want to suck? Yeah. And, and and I just like turned and and like ran the other direction. And he didn't rape you. Yeah. And the guy goes, I swear to God, he goes, "What are you a racist?" No. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh. You knew you were gay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you never had a like when you were a young boy, uh, someone maybe one of your little friends you asked you to, to touch uh, you oh, or, yeah. or a relative. Sword fight. I'm, I'm saving that for Maury Povich. Yeah. I see. You don't want to talk yeah. about that here. Yeah, why waste this good story right. here? And when this black guy came on to you, yeah. did he, did he uh, ask you to pay him money? <laughs> <laughs> Can you see how desperate you are? <laughs> you look like you got the look of desperation in your eyes. You look like you got the look of masturbation in your eyes. That's right. Well, you're probably a gay guy's dream when you were young. You were hairless. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, you were probably very sexy to him. Oh, yeah. yeah he probably seen you in a bathing suit. <laughs> uh, let's go to uh, line 10. Dave, go ahead. Yeah, Howard, what's going on, man? Hey, hey now. Hey, since Jackie's gone, man, you got to call Tom in there right now. And tell him to bring that contract in there. He's got to get Gilbert on the show. Man. Hire Gilbert to take over for Jackie. Gilbert, yeah. did you do a guest show? You, could, you couldn't replace Jackie, could you? I, well, I could come in every day and demand more money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that you could replace. I'll come in early each day and go, I should be getting paid more than I am. I need more. Yeah, I need more than this. Yes, well, uh, you would you would certainly be an asset to the show. The amount of work I'm doing here, I should get more money. You should certainly uh, submit your resume. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
very impressive. Please be, be sure to put Son of the Beach on there. Oh, sure. yes. Do you have a website that I can incessantly promote? No. I no, don't then you have can't have the job. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> and I'm also doing, like, those Subway sandwich commercials. Oh, and... yeah. You must be making a lot of money now. And, and the duck and the Aflac insurance. Can you make commercials is where the money's at, right? I mean, if you get a Subway you sandwich. You got national. Yeah, national. Yeah. You, you could, and they keep rerunning them. And every time they start, they, they hire you for 13 weeks, and then every time they run them again, you get more money, right? Yeah, that, that's good. So what do you make, like 100000 from that? Yeah, $100. Well, no, 100000 Yeah. <laughs> $100. But do you, uh, you go in there and you demand more money, right? I want more money for this. <laughs> I'm the voice in Subway. I want more money. Oh, you do the voice. Yeah, I see. it's like yeah. I see. All right, listen. And the talk. Do you ever eat Subway? Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think at this point Gilbert is famous enough to get laid. <laughs> any day now. I told you one of the funniest things was you know now at, in Hollywood Squares at the end they have people tell jokes over the credits. Mm. And one day, uh, I think it was last week or the week before, Gilbert was in the square. Oh, what pressure. Miss oh, yes. USA or Miss oh, America. Look at you. Oh, yes. You bang her. <laughs> oh, yeah, I nailed her. Right. And she talks about, you know, the, the ordeal of being, you know, and being a role model. And, you know, I'm Miss USA. And it's, you know, so wonderful, you know, because people listen to me when I speak. Because, mm. you know, now I discuss issues. It's an excellent forum for my opinion. And oh, Gilbert yes. says, yes, and I'm Gilbert Gottfried. And. I misunderstood. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you always quick. Yeah. <laughs> what, a, what a card. He's but that funny. show, they give you fake answers, like funny answers. to Like, like Miss America isn't funny, so they give her. Like, oh, I did that oh, show oh, years ago. Oh, you'd be so surprised. Miss America's so quick. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. It's shocking. No wonder she's Miss America. She's on top of it. No, but I mean, I, I remember you go backstage, and they tell you the question. They I don't, don't give, give you the answer. answer. No, they don't give you the answer, but they give you a fake answer, a funny suggestion. Now, do you use those funny answers? Sometimes I use theirs. Sometimes I make one up. Yeah. So that, so then I have the option of saying, like, if it was funny, oh, that was mine. Right. Yeah. Right. All right, listen, we got to take a break. I'm sick of you already, but I'm yeah. looking for the news. <laughs> <laughs> Tired of you. It, it's, so, it's getting quicker each so time. exhausting. Yeah, you know what? You can't replace Jackie. You are really exhausting. <laughs> Uh, but you're going to be at Caroline's on Broadway this Thursday and Friday, and you're going to do your stand-up. And if people are expecting Hollywood Squares, they shouldn't. You are much edgier and How darker. How you describe your act? Yeah. Describe to people. Well, let's who... see. Tom Bergeron will be hosting. No. <laughs> and then he asks you questions yes. on the stage. That would be a wonderful act. And then I'll do a joke and go, no, 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 no. You that's do some Holocaust answer. humor, right? Oh, all, all of it. You like to talk, yeah, yeah, you like to talk about Hitler and... <laughs> What do you say about that? Do you ever bring up Hitler in your act? <laughs> All right, enough of those questions. All right. Go to carolines.com. You know, I bet you Gilbert can't even describe what he does. He really doesn't. Gilbert, is it still the same act or uh, the one I saw years ago, or have you updated it? Well, now it's a lot of song parodies. <laughs> and I bring out the I show. Oh, that's good. <laughs> well, uh, also see Gilbert, of course, on Hollywood Squares. i got to take a quick break. Come back. We're going to talk about some of the headlines. Oh, this is a chance for you to show up your ad-libbing abilities. <laughs> Or if you want to do it like Hollywood Squares, we'll write you some ad yes. And we'll be back right you after this. Hours or your own? Yes, we'll be back after this. Gilbert Gottfried. Uh, Gilbert, of course, will be performing at Caroline's on Broadway this Thursday and Friday. For more information, you go to carolines.com. You get all the Gilbert info you need. Also see Gilbert on Hollywood Squares. You know, I, I was watching Hollywood Squares one time, and I saw you on there as you were dressed up as Dracula. Oh, yeah. And I thought you were going to bring on Dracula Gottfried, and you didn't. I, I think I did one line in the Dracula voice, and the audience had no idea yeah. what was going on. It sounded know. like crickets. Right. It turned yeah. into a bad audience. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I thought, oh, oh, the hell with this already. It's got, in other words, some of your comedy is not suitable for that yeah. uh, arena. I see. Yeah, I want to apologize to Gilbert because he doesn't get the full star treatment when he's in here. Why? What happened? Uh, during the break, before... <laughs> but why should we waste full star treatment on him? 
<laughs> Who's he? Oh, he's got a bottle of water. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a bottle of water. When Carmen Electra and uh, Kylie Bax were here earlier, Howard gets up. He comes around the console. Oh, yes. He sits on the edge of it. He entertains them throughout the entire break. <laughs> Well, you don't have to say that. <laughs> no, but you understand, you're a man. I'm not going to be talking to you during the break. In fact, I ignored Gilbert the entire break. Tom came in and had a meeting with me while Gilbert was here. And that doesn't happen with the big stars. <laughs> That's true. Don't interrupt me with Kylie and Carmen. Gilbert's here. Come on, let's have a meeting. That's right. Oh, I did like when Robin said that Kylie and Carmen... It's also good because they have personality. Yeah. And a lot of girls who look like that don't. <laughs> they don't, I, I've yeah. seen it. I'm thinking that you, to a lot of, to men, that really makes a big difference. <laughs> yeah, I could care less. Yeah, with I'm Carmen Electra, you go, oh, yeah, she might be dull. Get yeah. out of here. Maybe you want to <laughs> hang out with these girls after as well. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, I don't need to hear a personality. You first. don't even know if they have personality. <laughs> Gilbert, have you, I mean, I know you've been in relationships with women. Your persona yes. is that you don't get women, but I know you do. I, I've met I'm you, like I've, Peter Lawford. Yeah, no, I've yeah. met girls. Yeah. You're not like Peter Lawford, I mean, but I've met girls that have gone out. You're attractive women. After you've finished sexually with them, <laughs> <laughs> do you ever have the desire to cuddle or talk to them? Or talk to them? <laughs> Seriously, do you? I always think, like, if, if you had, like, sex with, like, Carmen Electra, yeah. afterwards you'd probably be like, well, okay, what's on TV now? Right. Yeah. You might actually want to hang with her. No, no, no. I'd say, I'd say like, uh, you oh. can go to sleep and I'll watch TV. So, yeah. so that's what. So you. I mean, I know you have sex. Yes. You, you, and I don't mean just with yourself. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you, now here's the question: Does he go to their house to have sex? Because then he can get up and leave. Yeah. Is it better to go to the girl's house so you can get out of there? Or do you. Have <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, do, what would you prefer? Have a girl come over to your place and have sex with you? Or would you prefer to go there and just leave? Well, well, of course, if you're there, you can leave. Right, so you you're like that. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. if a girl's there at your house, you got to throw them out. And do you have to use humor to get women? I mean, do you ever do you ever break into one of your characters? Uh... Oh, oh, I liked in an interview recently, uh, Rachel Hunter said that, um, what's his name? Rod Stewart. Rod Stewart. Is living proof. She says how funny he is, number one. Yeah, he's a load of laughs. And she says, he's living proof that a man can laugh you into bed. Oh, oh yeah. God. He's worth $800 million. Yeah. He's Did a good-looking he rock star. Did laugh once? He, no. He, yeah. he, there's nothing funny about Rod Stewart. <laughs> He's like gets crowds all over the planet. Yeah. Yeah, but but it's his his comedy. Yeah. You know what? She wants comedy. She should sleep with you. Yeah, exactly. There's a load of laughs there. <laughs> all right, Gilbert and Caroline's. But let's let's do uh, some news now. Well, Robin. Oh, that would Gilbert be a change of pace. Today. Right. Because I want to ask him how he avoided shooting up his high school. <laughs> <laughs> I I never had access to a gun. I would have. Would you have? I mean, you were beaten I, mercilessly. I would, wouldn't you have been one of those kids who opened fire? I got to tell you something. I, I know that. I, I, I mean, I know. I mean, a lot of what you say is comedy, so I don't yeah. know how much is the real Gilbert and who and who is who's who. It's but but oh. I know for me, I'm being serious. I grew up in a black community, and I was constantly beaten. And uh, I got news for you: if anybody had a right to bear arms at school, it was me. And I could have shot people in self-defense. Yeah, I'm reading in the paper today that they now have this program in city schools where if you're being tortured, bullied, you can actually transfer. Oh, if I could have done that. That would have been the prayer that I would, I would pray every night that my parents would finally get me out of there and stop turning me into a martyr like yeah, Jesus there Christ. No place for you to go. <laughs> did you, where did you grow up? I, I went to school in Brooklyn, also an old black school. Right, so you, not only are you physically unappealing. Yeah. <laughs> You and annoying, I mean, annoying. the kindest way possible. Right, I, I don't mean that as a slam. Don't, don't sugarcoat. Yeah, right. I mean, you're not only physically unappealing, you're also annoying. And I imagine black people didn't even know where you were coming from. Oh yeah. Did you ever talk in class? Yeah. Not, now they're my biggest audience. The blacks. But, yeah. But yeah. back then, back then they didn't want to hear from yeah. you. I guess you have to pay, and then yeah. you suddenly are appreciated. <laughs> Gilbert, you you must not have been popular. Oh, oh yeah, I was the jock. <laughs> well, Gilbert looks a little Puerto Rican, so maybe he got away with it. He sort of mixed in that one. <laughs> yeah, I know. And 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 and, and Gilbert, so they go, let's small. beat up this big. 
Did you ever, did you ever because you were in a black community, did you ever, like, like, like today they call them wiggers. Were you ever one of those white guys that would speak a little bit black? I don't mean like a, you know, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, would you try to fit in? No, that I that seemed like it started a little later right. as far as everyone. Right, I see. So you never tried you to. You missed that trend? Yeah. You never tried to fit in by talking, hey, man, what's happening? No, oh, no, oh, yeah, no. like every yeah. white rock star, every every white rapper. Right, but you never did that. And, no. and, and were you beating were you a lot? I go, well, uh, hello there. <laughs> <laughs> were you beating it? Like, were you afraid to talk in class? Were oh, you... oh, yeah, I was. Yeah. You were intimidated? Oh, if, if uh, I, I always think if I was one of those kids who had a gun. You would have really oh, shot yeah, it. Oh, yeah, I would have. Yeah. You would have sure. <laughs> I know, yeah, I still think you probably on the way to high school. <laughs> Go ahead, Robin. But so, I just wonder, because he could do a public service. People are wondering, how do you identify these children? How do you stop this? They look like Gilbert. The bullying yeah. that goes on in right, school, right. et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Gilbert is right here. He's a public resource, and nobody's talking. <laughs> were you beaten a lot? Seriously, were you? Oh, yeah, it was, wasn't easy. No. No. Because cause I'm uh, even me as intimidating looking as I am. <laughs> yeah, I'd be afraid to fight you. Yes. <laughs> they go, ooh, let's stay away from him. He's pretty big. Who is the latest uh, person to go in and shoot up his school? He's supposed to be arraigned as an adult today. Right. For the killing of two kids and the wounding of 13 other people. And I, I don't know who's writing our newspapers these days, but I'm always amazed at what they decide to print in these articles, and it's in an incredulous manner. They don't believe this happened. They're now reporting that the kids who were shot were shot in the back. Yeah, like, like, like oh, who cares? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You don't think he's walking up and saying, could you turn around? I want to shoot you. Yeah, that's not manly to shoot someone in the back. Yeah, can you believe it? He shot these kids It would have been back. one thing if a fourth grader actually was facing you and you shot him. Yeah, right. Then you have a reason to. <laughs> yeah, can you believe that? I know. I saw that on the front page yeah. of the paper. I was kind of shocked that they're, it's like incredulous. Yeah. What? Well, how, how do you not know that they shot were shot in the back? You'd right. be justified in shooting a kid in the chest. Yeah, right. That's yeah. what they make it seem like. Yeah. Uh, so so what anyway, a, yeah. that's going on, and they say now that this is the first day the 1,900 students from that school will be returning, and uh, they don't know why. No one told anybody that this kid had been talking for weeks about shooting up the school. Right. And uh, the law enforcement people say he's talked a lot. He's been very forthcoming about talking about the attack and how he planned it for several weeks and how he got the gun, and they say he reloaded Four hmm. times. Four so times. Four times. <laughs> they, they think he shot off about 30 rounds. He still had eight bullets in the gun. When, uh, but he told them he was it. kidding when he talked yeah. about it. <laughs> By the way, uh, he says he, they say he's shown absolutely no remorse. You know, he just talks about it in a, a rather matter-of-fact matter fashion. So. Gilbert's been corresponding with that kid through email. <laughs> so I don't like the way he shot him in the back, though. That's the only thing. Yeah. I mean, if a guy has a gun, wouldn't you be running from him anyway? You yeah. Absolutely. Shot in the back. Absolutely. Head for the hills. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, they carry on like that's a, a surprise. Go ahead. What, what else is the in there? The other thing that is a real surprise to me is they say... That we that had Gilbert back on? <laughs> They say we are recovering today from the big snowstorm. Right. Oh, it was scary. We are recovering from the news reports about the snowstorm. Recovering from bad reports. Gilbert, you know there was no snow. What is going on? That that was like uh, 24 hours a day for a week. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, oh, and then... Did you they, stock up? Did you go to the supermarket? No, no. no surprise. <laughs> and then, like, yesterday I saw some guy who went all the way out, out of New York State. Yes. To some place where there was a snow. Yeah, he had to go find the snow. And he stuck like a ruler to show that it's almost a foot. And he goes, you see... There is a See, foot Yeah, of snow. like the snow. It's like we swear, we swear there is snow here. Yeah, there's so. snow, but it's not here. It was kind of like the Y2K thing, you know. It was, it was a big, a big hype. Yeah, yeah. Okay. much ado about nothing. So anyway, we're recovering from our news reports about snow, not the snow itself. And they say there's going to be another storm this weekend. Oh, it's sc I'm scared now. <laughs> so get ready. I they can't even believe. have accumulations equal to the snow we just had. Oh, and and they went from like. Five feet of snow to like three inches yeah. of snow. Yeah. Right. How'd that happen? Yeah. Why don't they know? Is it the global warming effect? <laughs> Look who I'm asking. Yeah. I'm asking a comedian. Yeah, scientist. Who was beat up by black people. Did you put up your scientist <laughs> Which really narrows it down. I heard something weird about yeah. you, that your sister is a famous photojournalist. Is that true? 
Uh, yeah, she's a photographer. Really? Yeah. A photojournalist? Yeah. Is she famous? <laughs> I don't know. Do oh. <laughs> you, you ever meet her? Yeah, no. <laughs> you don't like to talk to her. She won't return my calls. All right, well, yeah. that's understandable. Really? Are, is she a, who is she? <laughs> Melba Godfrey. Yeah. <laughs> He'll never tell you anything. You'll never know. Okay. Will she take your photo? Uh, will she do your press Has photo? Has she done those? <laughs> no, I have to go in those machines three for a dollar. Have you ever sat for your uh, sister? <laughs> Take pictures of. Maybe Gilbert's not the subject he's looking for. No, I think she's looking for somebody different than Gilbert. <laughs> anyway, so she is. She yeah. is a famous photojournalist, Eileen Gottfried. Is that her name? That's true. Oh, am I right? Am I wrong? Am I revealing too much? <laughs> Everything. It's, it's like whenever I say it, it's like a shock. That, yeah. that he's giggling like you're. Not, he doesn't know what you're talking about. You can't even. He can't even believe that that he has a sister. Yeah. It's like you're telling him for the first time. Don't talk about my sister. I'm here. Oh, oh yeah, I do have a sister. Uh, here is the president of the Gilbert Gottfried fan club. Oh, oh okay. So you, is this, this okay? is the president of the Gilbert Gottfried fan club. I think this is real. Is that right? <laughs> I think you're a little prick. What? You listen up, you little prick. I'm going to do to you what Selena did to her girl. I'm going to put my hands around your little Jewish neck and squeeze every drop of crap out of it. <laughs> well, he certainly... But, but Selena wasn't choked. Right. Yeah. The comedy's impure. Go ahead, yeah. Robin. What a fan. Okay. Uh, yesterday I told you that uh, this uh, guy was supposed to be put to death. Well, the uh, Supreme Court has now decided to take another look. They put a stay of execution on the... Uh, guy's uh, date because he is retarded. They say, well, what is retarded? He's got an eye <laughs> right here. of about 70. No, but shouldn't retarded people be executed? Yes. Of course. Everybody should be How executed. How come it's so hard to execute people? It's getting more and more difficult to execute people because the lawyers have gotten so good at these defenses. It's just unbelievable. The defense by insanity. Of course you're insane if you kill someone. No, so you what? know what I think it is? That it's so long between the time they actually commit the crime. You start feeling bad yeah, for them. Yeah, you start seeing, oh, it's a human being. You're right. Not the animal who slayed these two girls and threw them off a bridge. People feel, feel bad, but I don't feel bad. But by the time they do execute them, they're old enough to die anyway. And then you feel bad for them. They're yeah. old. Yeah, it's yeah. like they're, they're uh, in their 90s. Fly. You can't yeah. even lift a fly. Yeah, and and look, I'll, I'll tell you something. You, you, a retarded person, there's plenty of retards out there who don't kill people. They know enough. Uh, just because the guy's retarded doesn't mean he shouldn't be executed. Yeah, he's on the borderline. <laughs> this man is in Missouri. Right. Uh, they decided to uh, stop his execution yesterday and relook at the case because of the uh, mental impairment. They said, what are you, a retard? Let me ask Gary the retard. Uh, Gary the retard, uh, do you think the uh, retard should be executed? Gary? Yeah, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, the U.S. Baby. Supreme Court may review the constitutionality of putting a mentally impaired person to death. Yeah. Right. Apparently that's uh, violating their civil rights or something. Right. There's word today that a lawsuit by the woman who suffered a fractured skull during the 1997 Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade mm. has settled her suit. <laughs> that's the woman now. <laughs> How are you, honey? You feeling better? Mm. <laughs> What happened? Uh, the, the balloon fell on your head? I said, did the balloon fall on your head? No, baby. <laughs> you remember that? The cat in the hat. <sighs> Are you still in pain? No, baby. <laughs> and his head hit the lamppost. No, Are you gonna, baby. Are you, you going to sue the city? No, baby. <laughs> Uh, do you want to see Gilbert at Caroline's? Yeah, baby. Oh, all right. She was in a coma for nearly a month after the accident. I don't know how she's doing now. But, uh... Have you ever made a homosexual pass at me? Yeah, baby. <laughs> has been, been settled. She was seeking $95 million in compensatory damages and $300 million in punitive damages. They are not saying what they uh, settled the suit for. But they think she got millions. Right. Well, listen, uh, rightly so. She deserved it. Absolutely. Well, I don't think you should go to parades anyway, so. Yeah, I think... Uh, go at your own risk. should never be another parade. Go ahead, Robin. <laughs> now, yeah, but you, you don't go to parades, do no. you? No. Was that the cat in the hat that yeah, killed her? The cat yeah, the yeah. got her. Right. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Yesterday, of course, uh, because of that shooting, they were debating gun control laws once again in Congress. And our own uh, Senator, Charles Schumer, has said, surely, I mean, of course we have all these arguments about whether we should limit the uh, access to guns. 
but surely we can come to some agreement about uh, some parental controls and what people should do with these guns when they have them in the home. Here is Senator Chuck. We've had such deadlock in the Congress on this. We'd like to do something to stop this. And I think this is a common sense way that people who have different ideological views on guns could come together and finally do some good. I wonder what he said. What? No, he's saying the parents should control uh, the guns they have in their homes. Oh, they should. Yeah. If we can't keep them out of their hands, let's make some rules about what they should be doing with the guns when they take them home. I keep my guns, I keep my guns in my purse. <laughs> <laughs> so what? Who cares? A Western New York woman has been sentenced to six months in jail, and do you think this is wrong? She has admitted she coaxed her children to shoplift. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 29-year-old Tanya Turnbull of Livonia told investigators that she had two of her five sons, ages 9 and 11, steal Buffalo Bill's jackets from Sears and Henrietta. On another occasion, she had two other sons take um, cartoon videotapes and video games from the supermarket. One of her sons told a school teacher about the theft, and the teacher notified the Livingston County authorities. Yes, double A, what is it? Hey, what's going on, Harold? Hey, man. Since you are in news, I want to know, is uh, uh, Fred the new head writer now for the show? Is Fred the new head writer? Does he move up? Does he move up? Well, you know, Jackie was the head writer, yeah. and the only other writer was Fred. <laughs> <laughs> but Jackie insisted on that title, head writer. <laughs> And poor Fred, I guess Fred had to be. Fred, do you want to be the I head writer? That tire is retiring with Jackie. You you don't want to be head writer. No, I'm just. All right, so we'll I save it. Is it also true now that uh, Eric Norris is going to take Jackie's spot? Yeah, it's just what we're thinking of doing. Shame on you for <laughs> making fun of Fred. <laughs> but that's a valid question. Enough Fred people make fun of Fred. Does not want to be head writer? No, he does not. All right. In fact, Fred uh, used to have union meetings with Jackie. Because uh, gone. now he's gone, so Fred has to meet with himself. <laughs> and it's very boring. Okay. Yeah, did, you ever, did you ever write on a TV show? Were you ever a writer, a behind-the-scenes kind of guy? Not, not just behind the scenes. No, always with yeah, the, the yeah. performer. I, yeah. I, so you can't relate to Fred. No. No. <laughs> There's another person who can't relate to Fred. <laughs> no one can relate to Fred, I'm whether they're surprised. writers or not. I'm right. not yeah. surprised. A lawsuit has been filed against a policeman in Washington State for using pepper spray to get a nine-year-old boy out of a tree. <laughs> <laughs> now, how does he explain doing that? Why would you do that? Well, he suffers from multiple behavior disorders. He ran from a treatment center in the Tacoma area last month and climbed a nearby tree. The suit filed by the boy's parents uh, says that the officer used pepper spray after the boy refused to come down. Handcuffed, arrested, and taken to a juvenile detention center, but the case was dismissed after authorities found out about the boy's condition. Now, Gilbert, how do you get boys out of trees <laughs> <laughs> when you want that? A saucer of milk. I see. Yeah. Huh? Right. So there you go. Don't. Oh, speak, you said, while yes. we're at, while we're on the fake subject, oh. Mark Harris was on uh, Son, Son of, of the, the Beast. Beast. He's in your episode. Was he in your episode? <laughs> well, uh, Mark Harris gets locked up in a Jewish. <laughs> A uh, slave camp. It, the, the Arabs capture him, oh. and he plays Shlomo the homo. <laughs> <laughs> and I think he he wrote a song for that episode. You're kidding me. Yeah. Did they, Did use, they it? Let him use it? I didn't see him singing it. He wrote a song. They said they'd be sending it to you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think we had him perform it, because I didn't see any of that in the dailies. They said they were listening to the song, like, with their jaws hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> He's quite good in it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did see his thing. Did you? It was funny, right? <laughs> I'm Shlomo the homo. <laughs> Quite touching. He was another one who was denying being homosexual. For a while. Well, yeah. 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 And bisexual. But nobody he hit it well. bought it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he couldn't convince anybody. He was no. quite the ladies' man. Yeah. A wealthy Westchester judge has been ordered to stop spending money on his girlfriend and pay his estranged wife $12,000 a month. Judge Kenneth Lang has uh, been making about $700,000 a year from a family business that makes air duct filters, according to the state Supreme Court. And uh, I guess he hasn't been giving his wife anything. He's been lavishing money on the new girlfriend. She said she has been receiving $1,500 monthly, the wife said, from her husband, plus 
about $7,000 a year in Social Security payments. Lang has given his girlfriend, who was not identified, $15,000 to pay for her own divorce, according to the uh, ruling in court, and $240,000 from a retirement account. Uh, the judge withdrew to buy a house for this girlfriend and her children. So the judge has now ordered him stop giving money to the girlfriend and start giving money to the ex-wife. Somebody, oh, this is all about getting uh, vagina. <laughs> it's all it is. All these problems. You're never going to get married. I heard a rumor you're going to get married. Girl. No, that's what I heard. I heard you're getting very serious with one girl. Oh, oh yeah, it'll be in People magazine. Would you sell the photos? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> You're going to give InStyle the rights to cover the Oh, wedding? yeah, there'll be helicopters, and I'll be, like, shooting at I always find it odd if I see you step out with a lady. I mean, uh, it, does the paparazzi uh, stalk you? <laughs> yeah, when you're in Hollywood now, <laughs> yes. you actually date? How do you date without the paparazzi <laughs> following you? Well, one time, I remember, I was talking to Mike Walker, mm -hmm. and I said, does... The Inquirer ever get any dirt on me? No. And he says, uh, yeah, a couple of times. And I said, so how come it, nothing's ever been printed? <laughs> and he goes, well, no one really cares. <laughs> no one cares yeah. about you. <laughs> they said, if you said it about, like, Tom Hanks or Jim Carrey, all right. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to read about you. But not you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know, we've been sort of laughing at Sean Puffy Combs, but maybe we shouldn't. Why? Because he has a gun. That's right. Yeah. Right. I'm not going to lie. The guy who actually threw the money at Puffy and the you know the whole thing started because he threw this money. Mm -hmm. He ran from town rather than testify at this trial. Wow. And they looked and looked and looked for him. They, they finally find him. found him and they dragged him back here. Oh please! I don't want to go back. And now they're not even going to have him testify mm. because. Apparently, he just won't testify against Puff Daddy. Wow. I'm beginning to think a lot of these black rappers are actually criminals. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, when did you come to that conclusion? I don't know. It's a crazy theory. <laughs> but you're going out on a limb yeah. of that. This is a pretty wild guy, and if he's afraid to testify against Puff Daddy, maybe we should all take him a little more seriously. Right. So they're just going to use the guy's statement that he gave to the police right after in which he said that both uh, Puff Daddy and this guy Shine uh, pulled guns when uh, they were in that in that case I have no jokes to make about Puff Daddy <laughs> <laughs> yeah I don't think we should yeah. fool around with I'm just that. trying to get an endorsement on that clothing line I, I want to wear his clothes Is that right? <laughs> that's it I know Gilbert must sit around his apartment downloading music all the time. How do you feel? Are you upset about this whole Napster thing? Oh, it's got me up a tree. He doesn't even have a computer. <laughs> Here's Vinny Favali. He has a tape of Mark Harris's new single. Oh! It's a message. You ready? Hold on. Yeah. yeah. Dear America, as I have recorded this message of hope, I hope that all of you take the time to help me change our society to a kinder way. Whenever we see each other, why not acknowledge the other person? Smile. Say good day. Good morning. I need to take a shower. <laughs> I feel dirty. This is anti-Napster. <laughs> My answering machine is now gay. Howard, I've got an office full of tapes from this guy. Uh -huh. I know he loves you. <laughs> I love him. Vinny is the vice president of CBS. He's the liaison into late night television. And Mark Harris just he, once I gave him I gave him Vinny's phone number. Does it go? He calls Vinny every day. Howard, he's like Ralph Crampton. He's got something going on every day. Yep, a new a new business. It's the goof that keeps on giving. Mark will never stop calling. What's the latest thing? This song. Yeah, this song, this, he, he claims he's real tight with the Bush um, administration. Right. He met with Barbara Bush once, and uh, he's heading this campaign for decency. And this is his... Uh, Make it louder, i got to hear it. Okay, okay. Why even bother eating? I can't imagine. Just all that dieting, all that passing out. <laughs> he's a lunatic. Oh, poor Karen Carpenter. <laughs> <laughs> Make it happen. Wasn't Karen Carter like a hundred years ago? To aspire to be great and wonderful and help our country and fly that flag and support our president. It's good production, though. Support our president. He's going to give us a tax cut. No. And we we'll have that much more. To and this guy's a fag? <laughs> <laughs> I think you gay guys don't even want to have that. Oh. Even 
if you out there do not believe Dr. Dr. Smith on Lost in Space class with this guy. What? Like this is from Fiddler on the Roof. I thank you. Okay. Oh, please, Ted. Wow. <laughs> but he's terrific on some of the beach stuff. <laughs> but it's not. One bag! Oh, those. take a lot of that. Anyway, uh, Napster's in trouble with the courts and the music right. industry. They have been told to stop down allowing people to download copyrighted mu music. So yesterday, Napster was still allowing that. And a judge has now given them three days to uh, get it in gear and stop all the uh, copyrighted music from being downloaded on that site. But Napster keeps saying they need more information from the music industry, so I don't know what's going on. Right. Metallica's lawyer says that if Napster complies with the latest edicts from the court, mm -hmm. the band will be satisfied. Hmm. Here's uh, KC with some sort of information. All right, I know what's going to happen here. Uh, say, say they're gonna block, like, say all Britney Spears stuff, right? So when we type in Britney Spears, it's gonna block it. That's right. But if you type in Britney Spears with a Z at the end, yeah. then you're gonna be able to get it. You follow me? Yeah. Well, I got news for you. The courts are gonna see through that. Yeah. It's, it's, it's gonna change. What I can't believe is the court hasn't just shut down the whole goddamn thing until Napster can prove that they can, uh, protect copyrighted material. And, uh, this makes no sense. It just drags it on and on and on. Yeah. Michael Jackson was at uh, Oxford. Okay, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm angry. I can't believe he made a fool out of me. <laughs> at Oxford University last night, talking on <laughs> behalf of his Heal the Kids charity. They say he showed up three hours late as a result of seeing a doctor about his broken foot. He broke his foot as a result of a uh, fall at the Neverland Ranch. One of the little children left their <laughs> toys around where I could fall, and I fell over it. Well, Jackson broke and I hurt my penis as he spoke about his hard-driving father and how he envied normal kids who played Monopoly in homes with shag carpeting. I had to go to the hospital. There was a light bulb stuck up me because I fell down on it. Not because somebody put it in there. It's because I fell down on the light bulb. There was a salami in my anus that had to be surgically removed. <laughs> it was terrible. A double goo was in my ass. A double goo. There's a big gob of goo. A big gob of goo. Are you believe it? Doctor, can you remove this gob of goo from my rectum? I wouldn't believe it. I have a gob of goo embedded in my rectum. But I don't want you to think it got in there in some kind of dirty, perverted way. The way it got in there, a normal way. I was in the shower and I fell down and I sat on it. On a big gob of goo. They had to pump my belly out. It was full of gob of goo. It happened to me like it happens to everybody. I heard my foot. <laughs> See, my foot got caught on the gabagoo. On the gabagoo. You know, gabagoo can be very slippery. Yes, you were saying about... Uh... Jackson outlined a bill of rights for children. No one, don't get the gabagoo in your rectum. Jackson, I named my baby Jackson. This is Gary. You know Gary Delabate named his kid Jackson? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's very Jackson Jackson. Jackson. So Those names go together so yeah. beautifully. <laughs> Baba Booey. Jackson, Jackson. Delabate. Baba Booey. Yeah, Jackson and Lucas <laughs> Delabate. Baba oh, Booey. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. It includes things like the right to a bedtime story without having it uh, <laughs> compete with the evening news. Right. And the right to be considered adorable, even yeah. with a face only a mother could love. They say the crowd... The right to receive a spanking whether you did something wrong or not. <laughs> right. And get the gabagoo. Get the gabagoo ready. In my rectum. <laughs> the right to accidentally get gabagoo in your rectum. <laughs> That's amazing. Meanwhile, there's a story in one of the... Uh, yes, it is. Yes. Gabagoo. Requested a meeting with Justin Timberlake of NSYNC. I'd like his gabagoo with my rectum. Doctor Justin Timberlake gabagoo. I would like gabba. I'd like Justin Timberlake to accidentally put his gabagoo in my rectum. And they say when Justin showed up, he brought along Britney Spears. Brought along Britney Spears. Yeah, and, and but she doesn't have a gabagoo. <laughs> was, according to the story, get rid of Britney and let Justin go. 
accidentally put his gabagoo <laughs> in my rectal passage. Jackson's <laughs> disappointed that Brittany uh, came along. Brittany. Was he really? That's what they say in the story. I, yeah. I wasn't there. <laughs> Well, where the hell's her gabagoo? <laughs> what are you a girl? You want girls when you go to a bar? <laughs> I went in sync to accidentally put their gabagoos in my rectum. A U.N. agency is calling for an end to child marriages. Oh, yes. yes they're common. How are you going to get married now, Gilbert? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in Africa and Asia, they can marry as young as five. Yeah. And UNICEF says young girls suffer both physically and emotionally from these uh, really? child marriages. Marrying a guy at five is bad for them emotionally? Uh, that's right. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> So, Gilbert uh, was moving to Africa. Yes. <laughs> they say it constitutes a violation. Ah, of dues. <laughs> I take him as my lovely with a husband. Is that a ah, dues? Where's the, yeah. 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 Oh, where's the gabagoo? <laughs> I want some right? African gabagoo. <laughs> Free consent to marriage. So uh, they point out that pregnancy-related deaths are the leading cause of mortality of course. for girls ages 15 to 19 worldwide. Yeah, Gilbert's killing them all off. <laughs> <laughs> My rectum is worldwide now. Let's go so look out for goo. That accidentally got the organizations to uh, right. discourage child marriages and to educate parents and young people that uh, this is the wrong thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else in the news, Robin? Well, of course. Besides Gabagoo? Show business news, because Gilbert's in show business. Yeah, sort of. Now that he's on Hollywood Squares <laughs> and Son of the Beach. David Arquette, you yeah. mentioned him today. He's in a new movie called Sea Spot Run. But when they were talking to him as he was out on the promotional trail, he says yes. he hopes his wife will take on some more serious roles in movies. He's playing with a dog, and he's worried about his wife. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Number Boy, one. You'd love a wife like Courtney Cox. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, I like Cox. I still don't think so. <laughs> I don't know if people even know the extent of what she's capable of. No. Oh, she she married him. <laughs> that, <you're laughs> that was a surprise. So for you, if he could get her. It's going to be really nice. I, I really love Cox. Mm. I love Cox. Give me more Cox. <laughs> I like Aniston, but I love Cox. So people don't know her range, Howard. She's uh, yes. got a lot more to offer than people have seen so far. Well, we originally wanted her to play the Jew on Son of the Beach. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we had Kylie Bax and Carmen, Carmen Electra yeah. here earlier. They're in a new movie called yes. uh, Get Over It. Uh, and I understand that Heather Graham... Yes. She's also in that film. Yes, she, she was too big to come in here. What is the reason behind her comparison of this film to Romeo and Juliet? Oh, I said it was the Romeo and Juliet of the white trash world because we want to be together, but then the tragedy is... Oh, please. All right. to the wacky... I had the grin. Heather Graham, how do you like acting? Heather Graham, what do you think of your Heather? What do you think of your latest role in Hollywood? All right, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Oh God, imagine that. What sound do you make during sex? Thank you. Is she more into the wacky characters she plays, or does she like playing the serious girls? I think like probably a lot of my friends, like, they'll laugh at me and they'll be like, oh, my God, you're funny. I'm like, I am? Yeah, yeah she's I mean, funny. Like, I'm oh, yeah. Unintentionally she's funny, hysterical. So maybe I love these people who think they're funny at home. You know, she could laugh me into bed because she's just so funny. But, uh, I think I, I whenever... If I, you want to be with a funny person, you'd be with Gilbert. I try to be funny, I'm not. And if I don't... Oh, I just want you to know that all my friends think I'm funny and that... <laughs> 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 okay. And actually, she's not in Get Over It. She's in the new uh, movie yeah. called Say It Ain't So. You know what sound my rectum makes she's when I have Gabagoo in it? <laughs> she's, opening, she's opening up for Gilbert Godfrey and Caroline's up there. That's how funny she is. Who is 
then get over it with Kylie Ben Carter. It's Martin Short. Oh, Martin Short. Marty Short. You know what was funny? His TV show. Do you worry about being too over the top when playing life characters? The reality is I always... The reality? In situations where I have to play a quote-unquote over-the-top character, uh, I'll think, well, how do you, how do you, this guy loves to be interviewed. He's yeah, becoming Jerry Lewis. Yeah. The three dimensional. Well, and then you're coming to like a store to buy bread. And the guy behind the counter is completely insane. And you think, well, wait a second. Oh, yeah, that's right. There are lunatics. <laughs> when I go into a store to buy bread. Yeah. Uh -huh. so, so what he look what uh -huh. I, you know what character is really over the top? I mean, there's so, so many ways of looking at it and examining. You, you know, it is, it, you know, you make him believe you're somebody. Yeah. He is huh. turning into Jerry Lewis. Yeah. Here's Jerry Lewis on the View. Speaking of the ladies, I read that you said way back when you used to be quite the womanizer and you would do. Four, maybe five broads in an afternoon. Is oh, this true? Oh, four. Oh, you are. Yes, ma'am. It's true. I did it yesterday. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I was. Mean. That was my best idea. So that was really <laughs> three and a half. Oh, he's a scream. I said, soon they'll do away with all these talk shows and they'll just go. I watched that. Okay, what else? Anything, Robin? Minutes is a new film starring Ed Burns and Robert De Niro. I saw it. Oh, how did you want to I like it. It's a good movie. I liked it. Melina, can I go in there? No, 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 no. Kind of Kendrecki. More Kendrecki. She is playing Robert De Niro's girlfriend <laughs> yes. in this movie. Very good looking. Girl. What is that like? Hey! A lot of rehearsal. We did a lot of research together. We hung out a lot together. So I felt really comfortable with it. Yeah, they had a research. I saw the movie. There's nothing to research. They're in what were they researching? Yeah, they were making out. <laughs> Craig Kilborn. <laughs> Host of the uh, Late Late Show. You ever do his show? No. How come yeah. I don't have you on any of these late shows? I don't know. I don't think you're that funny. Yeah. <laughs> it's trying to dawn on me. I'm the only one who thinks you're funny. That's my problem. He's hosting the third annual TV Guide Award. Right. And here he's going to tell us about new developments for the Late Late Show. Yes, yes, new developments on the Late Late Show. Uh, a country western 24-7, yeehaw. All right. Okay. He wants to be like what, Letterman? Even Letterman's not Letterman anymore. <laughs> right? He tries to be funny. Oh, yes. He he's certainly not Letterman. Kelsey Grammer is also in uh, 15 Minutes. With and I'll tell you, here. he's a good actor because he drops that Frasier persona and he becomes a new guy. And here, <laughs> is the, the music, I mean, the movie's all about having your 15 Minutes of fame. Right. But his Kelsey wife has an upset colon. <laughs> she makes duty, cock and duty poopy <laughs> all over the place. Here's a tape of his wife. Wait a minute. <laughs> How are you doing over there? How many times a day does she do this? Oh, there she goes. Wait a Here's uh, Camille Fraser. Camille Brown. Now Camille stop. Camille, I want to have sex. Camille, we're having breakfast now. Oh, come on. Camille. Camille, friends are coming over. Uh, my, Marcy Carson is coming over. Camille, that's very unironic. Whoopi, Camille. Camille, Whoopi Goldberg is coming over. Camille, Camille, the Spielberg will be here any second. When I marry you, you're going to have irritable bowel syndrome. Camille, Camille, tell me this before we got married. Camille, you, you know we're writing, we're writing a TV show together based on our lives, and I need to have a writing session. Camille, I'll be right back. I have to open a window now, Camille. Camille, 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 we haven't made love in a week. Camille, I'm tired of having to wear a mask every time we make love. Now stop that, Camille. Camille, the TV show is an old actor who's married to a young girl. Ah, Camille. Like Camille, like would you please stop that? I Camille. said that's not right. That's right. 
Camille, um, some of Camille, Steven Spielberg is on his way over. Camille, the Fredericks of Hollywood outfit doesn't do a thing if you keep releasing those. Camille, come here. Come here, I want to hug you. But not too hard. Here's Kelsey at home. Camille, I just came off the movie set and I'm really tired. Let's go to bed. Oh, come on, honey. Camille, let's see if you awake. I have an early call tomorrow. I want to cuddle with you. <laughs> Camille, I don't want you sitting on my lap. Camille, I just laid down fresh newspaper five minutes. <laughs> Camille, I don't like sleeping on rubber bed sheets. <laughs> Camille, we're adults. Tell me to talk about his first brush with Ben. Camille, I'm on the phone. I can't hear. What I'm on the phone with the producers of Fraser. I can't hear them, Camille. I'm on the phone. Come on. All right, all right, all right. Number eight. Hey, Number eight. Let's, see, let's give the guy a chance, all right? And by the way, it's hard to hear him because Camille's in the background. But <laughs> the first thing that uh, I relate the phenomenon of desiring <laughs> uh, is when I was a, a young man, and, oh, a boy, eight years old, I was to attend my first day. Oh, okay. Camille is obviously very loud through that. Oh, Give him another chance. What else is he have to say? Here he reflects more on things. The idea of a life in the public eye is kind of surreal. Camille, quiet down. Fame, you know, it, the word itself. She always has to be with him when he talks. That's the problem. If that doesn't come the actual Oh, my goodness. All right. You're immature, Gilbert. <laughs> Don't you know irritable bowel syndrome is a serious problem? That's right. She went to Congress to talk about that. I remember when you were in the hospital with your problems. <laughs> you didn't laugh. It wasn't so funny. Yeah. <laughs> see? Yeah. You didn't make a bunch oh, of yeah, see? Camille, I make $750,000 an episode, and all you do is have irritable bowel syndrome. I can get any girl I want. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can oh, you sit God. in another room while I'm eating? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to eat ham and eggs. <laughs> There's a movie out here. Camille, this is a script meeting, <laughs> and you're interfering. <laughs> Camille, please. <laughs> Camille, is there a duck in her? <laughs> Move on from the Christ's grammar. sakes, woman, this can't be for real. <laughs> what a catch-22. You're the hottest chick I ever met, but you can't stop dude. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah, you got a hot ass. Hold those back. <laughs> and the gabagoo. <laughs> gabagoo. <laughs> All right. Quit yes. farting out the gabagoo. <laughs> Let's move on. Right, come on, come on. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> Gilbert has nowhere to go. We have lost. <laughs> That uh, is directed and starred. Yes. We're going Edward. to go see Pollock, Edward. Camille. Edward. <laughs> Pollock. He's, uh, yes, he's nominated, and so is Marcia Gay Harden. <laughs> Jay. I can't the... Harden anymore. <laughs> His wife in the film. Here she is on Ed Harris. <laughs> Oh, actually, here she is on uh, duplicating Lee Krasner. That's the woman she plays. Lee Krasner's Brooklyn accent. What's that, Camille? You want anal? <laughs> Her accent was something like this. Um, you want... Camille, the actress is speaking. I'll show you. Camille, get out of that room. Allow the, allow the actress to talk. This is a very good actress, Maria Gay Hardon. Maria Gay Hardon. Please, Camille. Camille, they're recording now. Camille, Camille, I need to talk to you seriously for a second. Excuse me. Camille, please. Quiet your bow about for a minute. Camille, today we are going to a funeral. I'm going to need you to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot go to the funeral. <laughs> he died way too young. <laughs> now, would you hold it down, please? This is a tragic moment. As we meet here today. Oh, right. Anything else? Okay, Harden again. Here yeah. she is on Ed Harris as a director. 
He must be terrific. You know, all these actors are the same. You give them a part, then all they do is talk good about you. So, oh, he's he wonderful. Is so, he is so great that he could be in a room with you, and um, Camille wouldn't even pass gas. He's, so, he's a miracle. He can walk on water. Ed is a really truthful person. He is so truthful. No one is ever honest. Ed is truthful. And he'll say, you know, it's all about... He it. won't lie. Sure. And the He's like, Jesus. God and what's real. And Camille said um, I was sparkless. <laughs> and that's how what he gives us, as always, as an actor. Camille, don't light that match. <laughs> I, no! No, Camille, please. Camille, get away from the matches. I... <laughs> Honey, our new Hawaii house is in <laughs> I told you not to go near the oven. Such a cut up. <laughs> oh, Camille is landing. <laughs> She's trying to communicate with Come us. Come back down to her. <laughs> also in the news today, in uh, page six, I think it is. <laughs> The guy from Screw Magazine, Al Gore. Yes. Yeah, but that's a friend of yours, Al Gore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he has announced that he can no longer have sex. Neither can Gilbert. <laughs> neither, neither can Kelsey. <laughs> Camille, I'm going to need sex. It's been a year. I, I'm starting to think what my psychiatrist says is true. This is a defense mechanism, so you don't want to have sex with me. Camille, my sinuses are bleeding again. <laughs> Hello, 411. I can't, I can't find Camille in this pile. I can't look out the window. <laughs> yes, what does he say? He says that medical problems have now... Uh, uh, <laughs> where Viagra doesn't even work. Viagra does not help him have sex. Nothing else. All women are crying. And, uh, so he says it's a good thing, though, because now he can stop chasing after uh, beautiful idiots right. and really have some intelligent women in there. Well, if there are any beautiful idiots out there, I'm available. <laughs> Camille, you wrecked the house, you, you, you wrecked the Hawaii house, and I gotta tell you something, that was my mother you dude it on, and that was my mother. And we still can't take her out. She took her out of piles, and I have to pee, so get out of the bathroom already. Oh, come on, that was very, very disgusting. And there's a new movie out Beautiful called. wife. Seven, no. Serious seven, yeah. No, series seven. Series seven, yeah. I saw that. Uh, a By the way, Alan, on what? what is it? Um, there's a copy in your bag. You can watch it tonight. Excellent. I'm going to watch that. Series seven. Series seven. Gilbert, would you like bag. to come over oh, and yeah. have some gabagoo? <laughs> I want some gabagoo. That's you. a little getting my rectum. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Gabagoo. Here's Daniel, uh, what is it, Minahan, who's the director. and He, he says, was a senator. No, that Daniel was Minahan. Minahan. <laughs> Minahan. Oh, Minahan. And uh, he says, Series 7 is being released at just the right time. I think if we had made this film in 1996, when we were... <laughs> 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 Series 7, you know what that's about? It's funny. It's a... They have, they're filming a new reality show, except this time all the people just kill each other. Yeah, you have to play and... Uh, like Survivor. Yes. You know, yeah. You don't find that yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Maybe it's not so funny. Yeah, no. It's been funny before. <laughs> Camille, don't eat the brand! <laughs> <laughs> That's what's happening. Great. Uh, <laughs> <Jeff Hurt. laughs> That's our tenth house you've destroyed. Oh. I can't make enough Fraser money. You killed Woody Harrelson. <laughs> he came over here to help you with your bowel syndrome. <laughs> and you blew him out the door. He had massive head injuries. I uh, see Gilbert Gottfried. He's going to be doing Kelsey Graham and Camille routines at uh, Caroline's on Broadway this Thursday and Friday. And uh, for more information, go to carolines.com. Also see Gilbert on Hollywood Squares. They yeah. still have you on that. It's shocking. Well, I can't wait till Kelly. And, and eventually, son, uh, of the son of the beat. And you should be very proud of that. You're very good in it. Not as good as Mark Harris. Yeah. But <laughs> you're pretty good. Uh, I wonder if they let Camille on Hollywood Squares. <laughs> Camille, they want us as a couple for Hollywood Squares. 
<laughs> don't, don't. Camille, Whoopi is speaking. Hold it back. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, it should be a great show tomorrow. Gilbert won't be here. <laughs> Well, thank you, Governor. You're great as always. Always funny. And go see him at Caroline's on Broadway this Thursday and Friday. Uh,